Hey everyone, it's Audrey from Mom Generations here. So it is 2014. Well, already on day two of 2014. I hope you are having an amazing year so far. I know I am. You know, I wanted 2014 for me to be a little different. I really wanted to amp up my videos in 2014. It's something that I just love to do. And as I was reflecting on 2014 and what I really wanted to do with it and what I love to do, it kept coming back to video. It's something that I just love. And I want to create different series throughout 2014. I'm going to do a lot of fashion, I'm going to do a lot of beauty, I'm going to do a lot of fitness, a lot of things that really, you know, not only are important to me in my life, but things that I feel like are really just, I feel, fun to be able to just get as memories, pop them on YouTube, and to always remember things that I love, that I like, that I was trying out for the first time, my family at different stages, you know, especially now having a baby, you know, it's truly, really amazing to be able to see just her different growth, to go from having videos of me being pregnant a year ago, to now here she is six months old. So having different series for me, I felt would be the easiest way to organize all of my videos in 2014. And this is going to be one of my series it's going to be all about being a digital influencer. Now, I call myself, and I feel like so official today with my glasses on and my hair in a bun, talking about being a digital influencer. But, you know, it's something that I do as a job. It is my, it's my livelihood. I have been the sole provider of my family for the last three years being a digital influencer. I guess I used to call myself a mom blogger, but in all reality, you know, blogging is a piece of what I do now. I mean, I feel like the blog used to be the only thing. But now, with the emergence of all these different social media tools, I mean, goodness, I started blogging in 2006. And it really became my job in 2008. I committed myself in 2008 when I founded Mom Generations with my mom and my sister that this is going to be what I, I do for a living. And, you know, with Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and Vine and Instagram and YouTube, you know, you're really able to connect on so many different levels with so many different people, even Google Plus now. I mean, it's, you know, I kind of think of Google Plus as a Facebook. I kind of use them the same way. So I really wanted to be able to create some videos about being a digital influencer and giving tips and advice and sharing information and, and hoping too that I get some, some responses from you and stuff that, you know, you can teach me, you can show me, you know, I'm not, you know, going to sit here and pretend I know every single thing about being a digital influencer, but I know enough where I have been able to really create a really fun space for myself online and being able to not only do that, but be able to find ways to allow it to provide for my family. So I want to kick off today with my first video, and this one's going to be totally easy and probably information that you already know. So if you are a digital influencer already, this might be information you've heard before, but if you are somebody that wants to jump into this world, and it doesn't matter if you're a mom or a dad or you're 20-something or if you're an aunt or, a, or just a friend or love food or fashion or fitness, there's a space for everybody. I mean, I think that's the first question I get from people all the time. You know, I want to become a blogger, but I don't know... If there's a space for me, like, is it just too saturated? And you know, you're going to get a lot of different answers from a lot of different people. But I'm going to tell you this. This is what I've always kind of felt like. There's room for everybody, you know, and this is why, you know, in all honesty, I've never had contributors on my own site. It's because you have something very unique about yourself. You have a voice. And never will you find somebody that can replicate your voice to a T. You know, it's a beautiful thing to be able to have opinions and views and tastes and styles and, you know, everything of that nature. To be able to share and communicate with all of that information online is something that's very special. And really having that voice makes you unique. So is there room for everybody? I do believe that there is because I do believe that everybody has a different voice. You're not going to find a replica blog of mom generations anywhere else. You're not going to find a repeat blog of what I do unless someone's copying and pasting it, which they should not be doing, on anybody else's blog. So that is my first piece of advice. If you are new to this, never think that you won't be able to find or carve out a space for yourself. And if you are in this and you're feeling, oh goodness, like I've been doing this for three or four years and I, I just don't know if I should keep going with it. Well, you know what? Maybe it's time to really sit back and find a different direction, a different voice, a different love, a different passion. You know, when I started my blog out, I was truly at that point just having my fourth baby boy. And 
my voice was very different than it is now. And now I feel like when I look back at old blog posts, you know, it really is important sometimes to take a step back, reflect, and see if your blog is going in the direction that you want it to go in. Because that voice on your blog is going to be reflected through your Twitter feed through your Facebook feed, through your Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube and Vine. It doesn't just stop now with the blog. So really, I guess today again, I want the advice to be make sure you know exactly the direction that you're going in. And I feel like this is really good advice probably to give at the beginning of a new year because now is a great opportunity to sit back and say, you know what, it is a new year. Am I happy? Do I like the direction I'm going in? You know, I, for one, this year, and I'm, I'll be very honest and, and candid in a lot of my videos with this, is I never really blogged about a lot of personal stuff for me, like fitness and health and food, because I kind of always labeled myself as like, hey, I'm, I'm a bad cook, or I, I don't have time to work out. When do I have time to work out? And when you really begin to open yourself up and say, you know what, no, like, I'm, I'm going to be honest here, because I can't be the only one that thinks this, and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing in the 2014, when I really took a step back to reflect the direction of my own blog this year, I want it to be a lot more of exposing myself. I want to be more bold. I want to be more fearless. You know, I really, I sat down and I thought, okay, what are two words professionally that I really want to be my mantra of 2014? And they were fearless and bold. You know, I want to take fearless steps in different areas that I normally don't blog about. And um, and a lot of that too maybe has to do with personal stuff. You know, my, my, my daughter has a, a hemangioma and I opened myself up this year when she was born and talking about it. And the responses I got back were incredible. It was helpful. It was important. It was emotional. And it was just people wanting to share information. And I usually in my, in the past, if you read it, if you have read my blog, you know that I normally didn't delve into true, true, true personal topics, and I did. And also with my husband, how he had a, a cancerous tumor removed in 2012, and opening myself up to that. You know, I think that there's something really good about being you on your blog, and that is what I am truly committing to in 2014. So my advice today, in a nutshell, after doing all that talking, Know what direction you want your blog or your voice to go into, um, and that is through the different social media channels. Do you want to be snarky? Do you want to be funny? Do you want to just really talk about one particular topic or two topics? Because that's going to reflect your voice over all your social media channels. And then number two, if you're already at this game and you really, and I hate to say game, if you're already in this and you love it, then really maybe it's time and you're not sure what you want to go, and what you want to do, and you feel like you're, you're writing and, you, and your blog is getting stale. Take some time to reflect because now is the time to do it and really have an idea of where you want yourself to go with all of your social media channels throughout 2014. So now again, that I, I, I guess I should probably wear my glasses through all my videos now because I do. I feel very official and very like teacher-like with these glasses on, but I can't see without them on. So um, yeah, so I'm going to be kicking off this digital influencer series and I'm just going to have a lot of fun with it. And if you have any questions or you have, want any advice or any tips, definitely let me know. We'll make the, you know, the videos really fun too to be more interactive. So January 2nd, digital influencers out there, let's go get them.